I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on scientific notation. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgoman Orgo products and the author of the Dot Destroyer book. I want to go over a question with you involving scientific notation. The use of scientific notation is going to be important not only for the math section, but you need to know it for the gen chem section. On the gen chem section, you don't have a calculator. So it's going to be very, very useful for you to be able to hit things in scientific notation quick and efficiently. So Professor Blois, who has 40 years of experience, and he was actually my professor, is going to be with us today going over a very simple type of question that you need to know. Professor, I'll leave it to you to look at. Professor Blois here, and yes, this is a problem in scientific notation. Perhaps I should preface it with the form for scientific notation, n times 10 to the r, with a first number. It should be, as the, according to the strict standard form, n is strictly less than 10 and greater than or equal to 1. Okay, let's proceed to do this problem. We have 6 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 2 times 10 to the negative 8. That expression taken to the third power. So order of operations, we do it's in parentheses first. So let's do that. 6 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 2 times 10 to the negative 8. Uh, 8, what is that going to be? Well, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And how do we negotiate the division of exponents? We subtract exponents. It's going to be negative 6 minus a negative 8, which turns into 10 as negative 6 plus 8 or 3 times 10 squared. So that's the value of the expression inside the parentheses. So let's bring it down here and finish the problem. It's 3 times 10 squared raised to the third power. Okay, so that means it's the product raised to the third power. Here is the distributive property of exponentiation over multiplication. It's another distributive property. So, 3 raised to the third power, that's 27. And how do we raise an exponent to a power? We take the product of the exponents. 2 times 3 is 6. So let's write this out. 3 to the third power is 27 times 10 to the sixth. Now, are we finished? If the, if the question is express the answer in scientific notation, we're not finished. This first number is not less than 10. It has to be strictly less than 10. So what we want to do is convert that, take that 27 and divide it by 10, multiply it by 10 to the negative 1. As compensation, we're going to multiply by 10 to the 1. Okay, so I, I insert this multiply by 10 to the negative 1 times 10 to the 1. You divide by 10 and multiply by 10. But let's pair them off this way. Let's group them this way. 27 divided by 10 is 2.7. And then 10 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 6 is 10 to the 7th. Now there is an answer that's expressed in proper scientific notation. And that's how you do that problem. I hope that gave you some good understanding on how to go about that. Um, I, can, I think I can show them maybe in a quick way how to do something like that. Sure. This guy's our math genius, but I think in Gen Chem, the way, the way I teach my students is, say you ended something like this, 27. <laughs> Normally in chemistry, we like to put the decimal between the first two digits. Mm. So all I do is I say to myself, I go back by 10, and therefore, I must go up by 10. Uh -huh. If I go back by 10, it's 2.7. If I go up by 10, it's 10 to the 7th. And exactly slam dunk right. it. Exactly. Either way, whatever you like better. I like to think easy as a chemist. I you, like the easy way, too. This is just a way of writing it out mathematically so you can see the process going on. Fair enough. Documented. Fair enough. I hope this gave you some insight. Many times in chemistry, we need to do scientific notation and work with figures. Whether it's in the gas laws or equilibrium or solubility, um, you're going to come across this. So it's very important. The chemistry is going to have both theory as well as doing calculations. All right, I'll see you in study group. Good day to you.